Okay, so in previous tutorials, we created rock scale distribution of them. It's kind of nice to manipulate with them. So now I want to add maybe a little bit more details like a grass around. We'll go to add object and we'll go to select um, grass climb. So we'll create right there. And uh, let's go look on some distribution of this. Okay, so place right there. Okay, good. A um, couple of things I want to modify. I want to change the center and kind of maybe even shape of that. So let's go push this a little bit on the back. Okay, let's go take um, link and maybe just increase slightly. So I want to be sure it's covered around. Well, we can go click populate now and we can see where does this grass will populate for us? What areas? Okay. Um, so we have it right there. You know what? Let's go to um, maybe inside the scale. Yeah, let's go pop up scale from one to five. Okay, kind of, but you can see it's large and it's square. So let's go to um, change some of these and we'll go to Okay, right here, regress. We have it a density shader. Okay, and uh, I want actually this density shader. Okay, let's go to okay, take from this scale from here. We'll go to connect to our density. Okay, right there. Now, if we click populate, you can see we smooth out, remove some of those and also grass kind of dissipating. So the same thing is kind of nicer keeping around our lake. Okay, so this way. Adjusting, yeah, let's put camera. Okay, so this is kind of set our grass. I think this is about right. Um, just look on distribution, that does look good. We will just leave it like that for now. Um, let's go next. We'll go to add water to this and I'll just go add lake. Okay, so right here we have our assignment. Um, you know what, let's go take water a little bit down and maybe about minus 60. So let's see where this one come up. Okay, I think it's about right. We can take even a little bit down, but I think for now it's okay. We'll leave it there. Um, also we can go to water shader itself and let's do a couple of things let's add roughness just a little bit about that way and maybe pop up a little bit scale the reason why I'm doing I want a little bit rougher so when our Sun start heating we can see those blooms effect and also starburst so it's give it us a bit nicer look Okay, um, look nice. And you know what? I want to go to inside the terrain and we'll go just go inside the fractal terrain. Okay, and let's go right here. Just switch a couple things. I want a little bit make more heel look and we can also look some colors. So let's go ahead, take our feature scale, take it down maybe about 2 8, or maybe 2 2 around that area. Okay, we'll take a lead in. And you know what, let's just reduce that as well. So I think that will be round right. So you can see a little bit more hillish, kind of not so big mountains. Okay, I think we can work on a little bit on the shaders. So let's go to our base colors, colors, and I want to change these two colors. So we'll do one, maybe around like kind of older green grass. And this one's, let's go put it a little bit warmer rocks maybe around this color so you can see it's kind of give it a nice um, look on our terrain okay, we can also take pop up a little bit on contrast so we'll see a little bit more different between them okay. a bit darker this one this is look about right 
So you can see in preview, it's kind of already give it nice green and brownish. So it's kind of more related to the lake uh, look kind of this way. Okay, a um, couple of things. I'm not necessarily like it's cover rock. So I want to actually rework a little bit um, how the color affecting rocks. So we go take from fake stone right here and we'll drag to the mask. Okay, and you notice right now just only our rocks will start to have a color. It's what I don't want it. So I'll go open this one and it says invert mask for me. So in that case, everything should color except my rocks. So and for that one, we'll go open our rocks, go inside the color for the rocks. And right here, let's go to switch, put it a little bit warmer, click OK. And maybe two one there and we can take also some variation in red pop up take it out in green and pop up variation in blue so this will make our rocks just look slightly different okay so we can go wait till that okay i think this already look very interesting like so let's go close it we'll go inside the hour lighting at this point Okay, let's go click on the sunlight. Okay, and now what I want to do, I want to bring sunlight a little bit closer to the point so we can see reflections and we can see those booming effects better. So let's go ahead and take heading, bring maybe 340. So and maybe right there, so our sun up front. And let's drop down to maybe um and 12, I think 12 degrees sunset around that area. So our sun should be right there. Okay, and you can see we have it a nice look in our lake. Let's get a little bit closer to the lake. Okay, let me go on there. Get even closer. Yeah, I think that will work very well. Okay, let's copy camera to that position. So I think this way we have a nice grass, a rock span point. Uh, now let's go ahead, open render. And right here inside the effects, I will just enable all of them. And again, we can have it how much experimental atmospheric bloom. You will see line going like right there. And also starburst and bloom effect. I think by default, it should be given us a very nice um, example. So now all what I'm doing is just go ahead. Let's go ahead, click render image. And uh, it shouldn't take long, but I'm going to pause tutorial and come back when the render is completed. Okay, so right here is the render complete. You can see we have a very nice starburst going on the sun. And here we have our bloom effect on the water. Our rocks is stand out. Um, you know what? I really don't like background. So we can go back. Let's do this way. We'll um, remove starburst for now. But you notice how the sun was having this massive starburst. So I want to actually keep it just bloom effect. Well, so let's go inside the terrain. It's fractal terrain. And we'll just, uh, let's see if we can make our mountains. Okay, just a little bit more. Pop up. So I just want to see how the mountains will look. Okay, we also can enable preview um, ray trace it. It gives us a little bit more accurate look on how the terrain will look on this way. Okay. Okay, let's go disable this. Okay, re enable again. So this is look about right. I think I think I like this one a little bit better. We can of course decrease smallest features this way, you know. So it will have a little bit less preview. Okay, and um, and the feature scales. Now let's go bring them a little bit higher, actually. Right there, with our leaders should have nice heels. Okay, we need it higher. We can just take this slightly down. Okay, there you go. Okay, so let's generate details in a second. 
Okay, 100% done. And it's what this the recommend pause. And we can also okay, let's go to re-enable. There you go. Okay, so now we can see. I think this will be a bit better looking that way. Okay, and also let's go to um, some fake stones, colors, a little bit darker, and let's bring maybe more variations, a little bit higher in this case. So we have a little bit more interesting colors. And also scale density, let's drop this to 20. So a little bit smaller rocks and also shape. Um, we'll just can play a little bit more on the um, with the shape, see what we want it. We want them actually go a little bit reduce tallness as well. And just pancake effect. So a little bit interesting rocks that way. And the head is twinking, you can play around. So again, I'm going to um, render. Okay, let's go click render again. And again, I'm going to pause and resume when the render is completed. Okay, so right here, our render is finished. And of course, we remove the starburst, you don't see on the sun, but you see this very nice lens blooming effect on the water from very well. And also the terrain that we created with uh, our rocks large closer and as we're going to get smaller, 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 kind of pebble almost rocks around with different coloring. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial and preview of a new feature of the Bloom and Starburst inside the Turgeon 4. And please remember, it's just on the web is www.geeket.